Welcome to M2 Hockey and HockeyShare.com. Today we're going to show you a quick power skating drill that focuses on backwards outside edges. So you've seen the videos where we've talked about backwards outside edges and forward outside edges. So today what we're going to do, instead of crossing over to achieve the outside edge, we're actually going to cross behind our body while we're moving backwards. So we're going to step behind and put the, put the skate down on a nice solid outside edge. So a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, you have to have some knee bend here. It doesn't have to necessarily be completely all the way down at the 90 degrees, but you want a nice solid knee bend so that you've got some mobility here and also have some stability. Next, you want to make sure your upper body stays in control while we do this drill. A lot of times what you'll see is as guys start going, they're going to pull, they're going to have their stick swing out to a side or get behind them. All that's going to do is pull the shoulders out of the turn, makes you off balance while you're turning. Last but not least, as you're stepping over here or stepping behind, you want to make sure that the skate is actually on a solid outside edge. The weight's going to be towards the ball of your foot. So as, as you do backwards edge drills, the weight's always towards the ball of your foot. Otherwise, if you get your heel on the ice, you're going to go over backwards. So as you go, you want to make sure you're getting a push into the ice onto your next, uh, onto your next edge. So what we're going to do is we're going to step behind, push, 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 and we're always stepping behind our foot that's on the ice here. Okay? So Here's a couple examples of what it looks like while you're moving. So as you go, listen for a push in the ice every single time. So you want to make sure that outside edge gets a push onto your next step. Okay? And that, that skill will translate directly into a regular backwards crossover. Now, once you've got a little comfortable there, add a puck to it. Puck adds a whole new dynamic because it actually makes it very difficult because your hands are doing one thing, your feet are doing the other. So start slow, have them step behind, just get in the habit of stick handling. Okay, simple step, simple step, simple step, and then as they get comfortable, speed it up. All right, hope you find these tips helpful. We'll see you next time at M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com.